Hey lovelies, welcome back to my channel, it's me Kay Amwa. Hope you guys are all well and good. I didn't upload last week just because I've been feeling really, really run down. Um, I think it's from the whole snow week, etc. Had a bit of a cold and yeah. But I'm feeling much better this week. Sorry if I look, um, no not sorry, I don't have any makeup on, I don't even have lashes. So I look a bit like a bald turtle, but um, <laughs> I just thought I'd come on and talk about a question that I've been asked a few times now since going natural. Um, I'm just going to take down my braids while I talk to you guys. This is pretty much how my hair is during the week. I will have my hair like this <clears throat> and then like just put on a headscarf or something. But yeah I thought I'd just take it down I washed my hair I kind of co-washed my hair yesterday although I deep conditioned with my conditioner oils etc and then once I rinsed out the conditioner I pretty much just put the braids in my hair was wetter than when I usually um, do my braids for a braid out usually I wait till my hair dries a bit so it's more damp than wet but my hair was more wet so I'm expecting this to be a bit shrunken up actually but we'll see i'm just using grapeseed oil to take down the braids um, but yeah so basically i've been asked a few times if i'm finding it difficult that now that my hair is natural because i think there's just that common perception that natural hair is so difficult to deal with i mean i thought the same thing that's why i never ever anticipated that I would go natural especially especially this soon um, because my hair was relaxed basically the whole time that I've had to deal with my hair my hair was relaxed and I always thought like no I don't have enough time to deal with natural hair rare rare so I was talking to a girl and she's considering going um, transitioning or big chopping she's thinking you know she wants to just see if she can maintain her hair in its natural state and she was like oh but isn't it too much work and I was just like to be honest no it's not it depends on if you want to just do the most all the time I mean I think that pre-pooing is a good thing before you shampoo but if you don't have time to pre-poo you just need to wash your hair then don't like there's so many different rules that people think you have to adhere to because you're natural but even that, I mean, I feel like, I mean, obviously it's not, what I'm saying is not the law, like it's not 100% of the people, but a lot of the people I've, you know, physically come into contact with that complain about dealing with their natural hair, they don't wear their hair out often at all. They'll either always have their hair in braids or under wigs. So it's like, of course you would find it difficult detangling your hair, trying to style your hair your wash days just seems like forever because you don't it's not really what you're into you're not into hair care you're not into taking care of your hair so you don't have the patience or you don't know your hair to know how to take care of it like if my hair feels crazy matted dry i know that i just need to do a nice little oil and conditioner mix deep condition my hair or co-wash or whatever if it's feeling really dry don't use shampoo then my hair just goes back to being manageable like I know what I'm using but that's just from first-hand experience I've been dealing with my hair I've been managing my hair now for how long eight nine months now so and throughout this eight nine months I've had braids twice and the first time I kept the braids in for two weeks and this time I kept the braids in for a week and a half so I've been in my hair I know what my hair needs etc and I'm not saying that everyone that goes natural has to be into hair care they just may not want to deal with their hair or whatever for me personally when i had when i was relaxed i depended heavily on like um weaves sewing weaves that's what destroyed my leave out area because i didn't really like closures i still don't really <laughs> but the fact that i wasn't the fact that I was relaxed didn't mean I was taking care of my hair any more, any less than now. 
I mean, when my hair was out, I would wash it, deep condition it regularly compared to some people. Some people, you know, deep condition once a month which I couldn't do, my scalp would be on fire. Even with these braids, by the week, my scalp was just saying, no, you, I need to be washed. Um, but yeah, I just think that it's not a thing of natural hair is so difficult to manage. And I feel so deceived, because I, I <laughs> because I thought it would be, I was just like, no way, I don't have time for that. It's gonna take me to it, I mean, Bearing in mind, this is me talking, my hair's still very short. I've still got, you know, pretty much a TWA. But then I would think that it would be more difficult for me with shorter hair, whereas if my hair was um, longer, I would be able to just chuck it into a bun. Like, I can't wait for when my hair can go into one and just go into a nice bun. That will save me time, because obviously everybody has bad hair days, I hate a bad hair day with a weave because it's just annoying. <laughs> but with my relaxed hair, I would have a bad hair day and I'll just put my hair up or into a low bun or something. And at the moment, with my hair the way it is, if I take my braid out down and my hair's looking jacked up, I'm just like, oh my God, what do I do? So I have to work harder to kind of fix the problem. Um, so that's the only way that I can say, yeah, it's a bit more difficult dealing with natural hair because you can't just... But then what would I do if I was relaxed? If I was relaxed, then maybe, I don't know, I wrapped my hair and it came out all mash up. I don't know, you'd probably re-straighten it or something. So, as in fly and not re-relax it, but I don't know, man. I just think that there's way too much emphasis on the amount of work that needs to be put into caring for natural hair. I don't think it's that serious. And my hair's coarse. My hair's thick. My actual strands aren't thick. I've got fine hair strands, but I have a lot of hair on my head, so my hair's thick. I think it will take me a lot longer to be able to even put my hair in one based on how thick my hair is. But that being said, I think because I enjoy taking care of my hair, I enjoy moisturising and sealing, I enjoy washing my hair, I enjoy, you know when I'm tired at night time, and it's like, okay, you have to put your braids back in, I'm like, oh my gosh, but I'll just do it while I'm watching TV or something, like it's not that deep, that's what I think anyway, personally, I'll be watching something called Netflix, oh my gosh, quick break, speaking of Netflix, have you guys seen, I'm sorry if I look all crazy as well, taking down my braids um have you guys seen seven seconds on netflix it is so good i really enjoyed that so yeah i really enjoyed that the end is very disappointing but i feel like it made it more realistic it was like real life i personally thought so anyway um yeah there were mixed reviews on the end some people felt the same way as me some people felt like it was a crap ending because Obviously, it's like, how do you... I'm not going to spoil it in case you guys haven't seen it, but... I don't know. Watch it. Let me know what you guys think as well. But yeah, I'll just be watching something on Netflix or TV or listening to preaching or something as I'm putting my braids in. And before you know it, I'm finished. <laughs> so, yeah. I don't know. This is just a... I might put this under as like a K sports video. I still need to do the one about social media, but as I said, I, I was really not myself last week. So even this week, I'm not feeling great, but I feel a lot better. I tried to do my setup a bit different today because I've got the window in front of me, but it's just gone all cloudy. So I'm not as bright as I hoped I would have been. So this is my hair. My edges are not looking as bountiful as I would like, so I've been giving them some extra TLC. I did my braids with using the Cream of Nature with Argan Oil for natural hair twist and curl pudding. Um, yeah, it's pretty good. I kind of like the consistency of it. Just like that. Um, it works really well with my daughter's hair. I've been doing her twists with it. I pretty much just leave her hair in twists now. 
like two strand twists and it's actually been working really well it holds it pretty well I'm going to add a little bit of moisture using my TGIM buttercream daily moisturizer which is almost finished because it's that good but yeah let me know in the comments your thoughts like I just want to make sure my edges are moisturized do you think that I don't know especially if you have been relaxed transitioned or big chopped and then gone natural do you feel like it's an extra burden caring for natural hair I don't know maybe maybe it's because my hair's still short I think because obviously I guess braid outs will probably take longer when my hair's longer um, just with having more or longer hair but I feel like it's really difficult having short hair because you have to make more sections I can't wait the day that I can put my hair into four braids just know that I'm celebrating <laughs> oh gosh let me just pick out my hair but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did be sure to give it a big thumbs up and if you're not subscribed to my channel make sure you hit that subscribe button below to join the family and I will see you guys in the next video take care and stay blessed